Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see a star algorithm. This is an optimal algorithm, meaning it gives optimal search results, shortest path results in case of shortest path finding in graphs. Dijkstra's algorithm also gives shortest path, but unlike Dijkstra's, this needs a heuristic value or you can say a hint value. So this search is said to be heuristic search or informed search. What is a heuristic in our problem? If you have two points, there will be a straight line distance between those two points. That is our heuristic value. We are going to use this heuristic value, which is nothing but a straight line distance between the two points or you can say two nodes in a graph. The straight line distance can be calculated using Euclidean distance. So it's nothing but Euclidean distance and it should be admissible heuristic. The meaning of admissible heuristic is whenever you design a heuristic, that heuristic value should be less or equal to the actual distance or if we say a heuristic cost, that heuristic cost should be equal or less than the actual cost. Then only we say it's admissible heuristic. So A star algorithm. Uh, finds a uh, yeah, um, measure called f of x at every node in the graph. That f of x is calculated by this formula that is shown here f of x equal to g of x plus h of x. And uh, having x as a node in the graph, g of x is refers to the cost of coming to that node x from the source node s. So we have source node S yes here. We have source node S. Yes. From the source node, if you want to come to this X node, the cost it takes is G of X. And then this G of X uh, is calculated as like in the, we used to calculate for uh, dextrose the same way. So it is from the source node to the X. H of X is from the X node, if you want to reach the destination, what is the heuristic value? That is the straight line distance straight line distance we have calculated from node x to the destination d. So this one is from the source to x actual path cost, total path cost from the source node to the node you are currently in that is x node and here from x node to the destination node what is the heuristic cost. Summation of these two will be fetching me this f of x and this is a greedy algorithm. This greedy algorithm means it out of many choices it has when it is one node when the control is in one node when the agent is in one node out of many choices which has f of x individually I will be selecting the one choice which has the least f of x value to proceed. So let me tell you with this an example then you will get it more clearly. So this picture represents this uh, g of x and h of x. So if I have a source yes there is a node here there is a destination node somewhere and uh, I am at x so if your agent at x what is the cost to come from source to x it may be passing through many nodes the total cost you have to consider together uh, from source to x what and all it is passing through the path cost the path cost is said to be g of x summation of all the paths existing from source to x uh, that path that path leading from x to the source that you reached here that is called g of x and from the x if you are planning for a destination d what is the straight line distance or you can say heuristic distance or you can say it's a lower bound distance why we say it's a lower bound distance is if there is an actual cost exists that means it will be more than the heuristic cost so that's what this lower bound cost or heuristic cost or you can say it's a min cost so now if you are uh, uh, finding f of x, it is actually f of x for this node is nothing but a g of x plus h of x. Okay. Now I will be showing one problem. Here this graph is given my source node is a node and I have to reach this g. So the colored ones, the red colored ones are heuristic values. You see heuristic value from b to g is 13. 
So actually cost is 17 here and there is one more root here 8 and 6 8 plus 6 it may be 14 um, So it's all more than this 13 So here if it is say 15 but if you go from A to G actually the cost is more than 15 So it's all admissible heuristic so it satisfies so this is 7 this is 7 so it can be equal that is fine so but it should not be less so if i put 7 and if i put uh, there is a 6 here that means actual cost is 6 but the heuristic cost is 7 that is not possible that violates uh, so here we have a admissible heuristic values everything is uh, given the red colored ones are heuristic values and the black colored uh, uh, cost values are edge cost cost of going from a to c is 8 so like this black colored values are edge cost red color values are heuristic at those at that node so it's given like this now the objective is the agent is present in node a and it has to go to node g so why we are given g0 is straight line distance from g to g is 0 that's why it's 0 so whenever you see 0 without even telling that if it is 0 means then that's a destination so some you have to specify the source imagine i have just said uh, a is the source node now how to proceed uh, further on this now imagine that we are currently in so we are currently in node a okay so we have to uh, calculate the f of so i am in node a now this is node a so where the node a goes it is going to b it is going to c it is going to d so we have to just check where to go how to go right so it is taking me to it is connecting to b and c and d there is a c and there is d so we have to find uh, uh, what is f of x at b so at b b is x means what is the come to uh, cost to come to b is 2 and the heuristic at uh, b is 13 so 13 plus 2 15 so cost to come to b is 2 so 2 plus 13 is 15 so here 15 and here it is 8 plus 9 8 plus 9 it should be 17 so f value here is 17 and here you got f value that f value is um, 12 12 here Okay. now if I uh, have to proceed on this I have to select the minimum I are following greedy so this is greedy algorithm it is 17 12 which one I should say this says um, uh, not less than 12 this says not less than 17 if you follow this path it is not less than 15 so which one we should have to select it says not less than 12 that means there is a good possibility that it may be 13 14 like this which is less than 17 and 15 so we have to select this one to proceed further to branch out so now i am in d so from d i can go to uh, which node this node f this is node f and we have to find the cost cost of f of x is here it is 2 and 8 this is 2 this is 8 so to come to this one g of x is 10 and uh, what is f h of x at uh, f place it is 7 so it is 17 here so now they see the open ends now the open ends are 17 here and this is 17 and this is 15 so out of all the open ends there is an open end here all the open ends which one to select we have to select the minimum one this says not uh, less than 15 this says not less than 17 not less than 17 here so that is a possibility that i may get 15.5 or 16 something like that which is less than 17 so we are greedily taking this route so out of these two open branches now whichever is low you have to take so already this is already done area so we are selecting this uh, B node to expand further. So if we go to B node, B takes me to G. Okay, so that is cost of 17. So what is at the place of G? What is the f f of x value is 17 plus 2 is 19. That's the G uh, G of x and h of x is 0. 
so it is totally 19 uh, and V takes me to E also V takes to E okay so E at the E what is the cost so it's a cost of 8 here so 8 plus 2 from A to E is 8 plus 2 that is G of X or X is when X is E so it is 10 plus what is the uh, cost here heuristic cost is 5 so it is 15 heuristic cost is 15 total is a 5 plus uh, 10 15 it gives 15 so even though you reach G this is where you are remember this is the goal state G is where I have to reach even though I have reached but it is 19 but I have one open end which is 15 and 17 17 all or something is less the less things are there so you should not just stop here you should not stop here I'm just taking it again from this E that means uh, there exists another that may exist a path so when you when you have to stop the algorithm when you reach the goal state you see all the other open ends all the open ends should be more than that goal state uh, uh, the f of x value now why the goal state f of x is 19 but I got one value which is 15 here we got 17 17 here so we have to expand this whichever is the minimum which is still this 19 is greater than all these so I may get a uh, root to g via these things which is less than 19 possible that's why we are expanding so when I expand e because that's a minimum I'm expanding e e is taking me to uh, g so e takes to g so at this point you just see a f of x value so this is to come here it is 2 plus 8 plus 6 that is this 10 you can take this 10 plus 6 10 plus 6 is 16 is the f of x value and uh, straight line distance is 0 so it is 16 okay now see the open end now this is also goal state I reached the goal state with the value of 16 and that means this is 19 that means I strike it off no need to have this one and uh, should we stop or go further now you see this is 17 if you take the C root it is saying minimum 17 if you take the root of df it is saying minimum 17 but I already have one root which is a goal state also achieved uh, and it is saying 16 so this is stoppage criteria now I got a goal state and no branches less than this 16 this is 19 striked out this is 17 striked out this is 17 striked out so we have to stop the algorithm so sometimes if you reach a destination earlier but if the other open branches has a uh, f of x value which is less than that means then that means there is a possibility of a optimal path in that route that then you have to proceed further now we can stop the algorithm since the branches all the other branches has a f of x value is more than the f of x value is here which is 16 so we are stopping the algorithm so the cast is 16 and the root is a to b so to reach uh, this one a to b and then b to e and then e to g okay so this is the uh, root so if you see this one this is a to b b to e then e to g it is 2 plus 8 plus 6 16 is the cost this is the optimal cost that means there are no other path with less than this 16 exists in this path so this is how you have to approach a star algorithm Thank you for listening.